Yo, what's good, chosen fam? God wants you to surrender. He wants you to surrender everything to him. Lay everything below his feet. Let every, let, lay everything at his feet. Everything, your business, your career, everything, any and everything that you have control over, your finances. Lay everything below his feet. And you're going to see the transformation of God upon your life. You're going to see your relationship with him heightened because you're trusting him for everything. Loosen control. Give God control over everything in your life. And you're going to see the manifestation fully of God upon your life. It may be uncomfortable. But when you trust in God and you have nothing but faithfulness in him and faith in him, you're going to see his great mighty hand. The reason people don't see his mighty hand upon their life because they still have control over their business. They still have control over their ministry. They still have control over school. They still have control over things of this world. And God is saying, lay everything below my feet, before my feet, and I will show you my hand. I will show you my hand. He's going to bless you, beloved. And it's going to be uncomfortable. But that's okay because God is there with you. Because you laid everything be below his feet. Because you laid everything before him. And you're saying, God, I surrender everything to you. And I want nothing but you. I'm hungering after you, my Lord. I'm in your word. I'm serving you. I surrender my life to you. And you're going to see the full transformation of God upon your life. You're going to see the full manifestation. But you have to. You have to lay everything before his feet, beloved. And just trust in him. It will be uncomfortable. 100% uncomfortable. But it will stretch your faith. He's going to increase your faith in that process. Because you're learning. Your intimacy with him is even growing even higher. Why is that? Because you're surrendering everything before the Lord thy God. You're surrendering your whole life to him. How can you not do good? How can you not prosper for the kingdom of God? How? Tell me how. When you surrender everything before God, how can you not prosper? How can you not do good? You're surrendering everything before the powerful God Almighty. He wants you to surrender. Let go of control. Control over your finances. Control over bills. Control over school. Just loosen the control. Give God control over all of that. Every step, every decision that you're about to get ready to make, pray and consult the Lord. Get in his presence. Get in his glory. Get in his word. Seek him ever the more. Take the control off of yourself and put it onto God. He wants full control over your life. You need to surrender and that is how you surrender. You no longer have control. You loosen the control. And you have God orchestrate your steps and you don't move until God tell you to move. Had the people in the wilderness, the Israel people in the wilderness, had they done that, had they surrendered their life to the Lord, had they had God orchestrate their steps, they would never been prolonged 40 years. Their, their promised land was prolonged 40 years. And they still didn't make it into the promised land. They still didn't make it into the promised land. They were wandering around the same mountain thinking that they were going somewhere, but they wasn't. And for some of you, you thinking that you're going somewhere, but you're not. You working hard as you can, make, trying to make as much money as you can, but you're not going anywhere. Just like the Hebrew Israelites, they were wandering around the mountain thinking that they're going somewhere, but they weren't. And they was doing it for 40 years, for 40 years and still they're making it to the promised land. For some of you, you're like, I'm consuming all this wealth and this money and I hope to have, gener you know, have generational wealth for my family, but that's not doing anything. What is that doing for the kingdom of God if you're not leaving an inheritance to your children, children about the Lord. If you're not telling them about the Lord, what is it doing? What is it doing? But when you fully surrender to God, you're going to see his mighty hand. You're going to see the great manifestation of what he has in store for you. What he has created you to do on this earth. He created all of us for a distinction. He created, he created, he created all of us for a specific time as now. We all have special gifts. We all have special talents. But what are you going to do with that? But do you really, really want to answer your calling? Do you really want to walk in it? And walking in your calling is fully surrendering to God. Everything. Having him have full control over everything in your life. Acknowledging God in all your ways. Glorify him anytime you see fit. Even the times you don't see fit, glorifying him. That is surrendering to God. Don't be like the Hebrew Israelites. How they... 
circled around the mountain thinking that they were going somewhere. And that could be translated through you working, doing things that is the world to try to gain, to try to get ahead. You're not gonna be going anywhere, although it'd be making it look like you're going somewhere, you're not going anywhere. Why? Because God needs to orchestrate your steps. He needs to show you the way. Lean on God, don't lean on your own understandings. I want you guys to walk in your calling. I want you guys to do great things because I know that God has created each and every one of you for a time is now to do something great, but you will never figure that out by following the ways of this world, doing what they want you to do, which is work hard. Either that's in business, entrepreneurship, or a job just to get ahead. That's not getting ahead. Getting ahead is surrendering your life to the Lord and having him orchestrate your steps. You're getting ahead spiritually and physically. You won't lack. It's going, to increase your, it's going to increase your faith, your relationship with God. The intimacy is going to be like you never had it before. Why? Because you surrender your whole entire life, beloved. Your whole entire life. Give it to God. God bless you, chosen family.